the the baseball story will not die. Is there more? Is there news? Well, I I like to go with the experts. So the Altuve part is still very very intriguing to people, and he hit the home run off Chapman. So Chapman tweets out an hour ago. You know that that Twitter meme of uh, Michael Jackson in the theater anxiously eating popcorn? Yes, yeah, yeah. And Chapman writes about, he, he, has, he has two flame emojis, and it says anxiously waiting what's coming next against the Astros, something like that. Mm -hmm. now specifically is uh, me watching all the Astros cheating drama go down. Right. Okay. So, you know, the Altuve thing, did he have an electronic device? attached to his right shoulder? Did he know what pitch Chapman was going to throw? And then the interview with Ken Rosenthal. Ken Rosenthal, this is a guy that's secure in his standing, where he was getting a lot of platitudes and accolades for asking Altuve, why did you um, say, don't rip my shirt off? And he said, I didn't even see him say that. He goes, my producer gave me the question in my ear. Very cool of Ken. Well, anyway, so Altuve at first goes, what? And then answers the question. Well, we went to a noted thespian who rings in on Twitter, the great Chaz Palminteri of a Bronx tale. Mm -hmm. Also a Yankee fan. Very big Yankee fan. And he says, Ken Rosenthal asked Jose Altuve the question of why he didn't want his shirt ripped off. In the book of How to Spot a Liar, liars always ask you to repeat the question. Then they laugh. Then they give you more than one answer. I rest my case. Is that really true, though? That's what Chaz said. I, I asked Chaz, is that, did he make up that rule of, of lying that it's a what, laugh, multiple answers? Because here's what, how it happened, and you can hear all three very clearly. Going around the bases, what was going through your mind? Not to tear your shirt. Why was that? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm too shy. Last time they did that, I got in trouble with my wife. <laughs> All three. First he said what? Then he said, right. then he laughed. Right. Then he said, I'm too shy. Then he said, I got, I got in trouble, trouble with, with my, my wife. wife. And then he laughed Chaz again. Commentary. Are we <laughs> still breaking this down? I mean, come on. The evidence is overwhelming. You're a witness counselor. So, at this point, baseball, right? and with Jeff Pat, and again, I said this in the, the soft open. You should read Jeff Passan's story uh, on ESPN.com talking about how yesterday was like a seminal day for baseball where all these stars aligned and people and accusations. And I guess what he's trying to say in the story, the milk is out of the udder. You know, it seemed like Rob Manfred, the commissioner of baseball, thought he tied everything to a tight little bow. No, because now players are revolting. Players don't right. want to play in a game where this stuff happens and... There's, there's a couple of players that tweeted out overnight, I would much rather face a steroid guy than a guy who knows what pitch is coming. So they're looking at this as even more egregious than being juiced up on roids. It's the worst cheating of all time. If this, if this turns out to be true, that there's the buzzer thing and the video operation, this is the worst thing ever. And not only that, the, the lifetime ban on Pete Rose is so fraudulent. The idea that gambling could be even close to in the same category as this. When no one really believes that Pete ever threw games to lose, the idea that he'd be banned for life and that you wouldn't ban... I'm well, sorry, that you wouldn't ban these guys for life? Well, here's the problem. If all the players that allegedly cheated were PED guys, they all would have been suspended. All right? None of the players that are in question have been suspended. So Altuve, and I looked this up, most popular Major League players jerseys in 2019 Altuve is eighth this is one of the most popular players in baseball he's not going away he's still there all right also on the list of the highest selling jerseys Alex Bregman another guy that allegedly is cheated and then you th throw Springer he wasn't named but he's on the team three of the top 20 jerseys are Astros and not to mention something that quietly was thrown out there yesterday was the Mike Trout HGH Oh, by the way, best player in baseball, and he's number nine in jersey sales, all right? And even though I'm not sure we, we're supposed to believe the HGH stuff, 
it's out there. So yesterday was pretty damaging to the sport, Michael, where some big names have been accused of some real heinous stuff. They're still going to be on national television. The Astros, I'm, I'm sure, being the defending American League champions, are going to play a lot on Sunday Night Baseball. They're going to play a lot on the game of the week. So if they were PED guys, Peter, they'd be gone. They'd be suspended for half the year. They're still here, still playing. What does that do for baseball? These are huge names on a huge team. And there's going to be uh, an air of uh, suspicion around them. And, you know, I was, I, uh, you try to parse everything now down to its purest form. And I looked at the, the quote released by Scott Boris. It was very odd the way uh, it was worded about Altuve with the electronic devices. And none of it, none of it is clear and clean. But the one problem that's going to happen, unless somebody who was operating the buzzer gives these guys up, I don't know. There's no way that you could punish them. And you also wonder the immunity granted to them in talking about the trash can banging episode, does that extend into possibly 2019? Well, let me ask you this, Michael. This just kind of popped into my head. Let's say I live in New Jersey, which I do. And let's say I had a significant amount of money on the Yankees in Game 6. Which you did. I did, but not significant enough that I'm going to bat an eye at it. But let's say I did. Legally. Gambling's legal in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Could I file a lawsuit against the Astros? Hey, listen, we're, there's, there's allegations that these guys cheated me out of money. That I, was, that I could have possibly won and didn't because they cheated. Did something against the rules. Now, I don't know if it would hold any water, but could it be enough where it would have to be investigated further by more than just Major League Baseball? Because that affected things outside of between the lines, where baseball controls it. Peter, what if I had $100,000 on that game? Now, that doesn't mean I would have won the game or won the money. If Altuve had struck out, we're still going extra innings. But isn't there enough information out there that maybe that game was won by cheating? I mean, the, the I, evidence I is overwhelming. Baseball can ignore it because they've got a players association to deal with. But you tell me there's not enough there to investigate what exactly what's going on? It'll be, what's that bulge in his chest? Why didn't he want his jersey ripped off? You bring up a really good point if, if the government gets involved. Because that's what really spurred on the steroids situation so Exactly. Well, well why, why wouldn't they? They got involved in the PEDs. Why? Right. Because, what he, what, because PEDs were illegal at the time. I'm sure this is a conspiracy that did violate some rules in the state of Texas, I, no? I also wonder if there will be some players that were victimized by the Astros, pitchers, that might say, I'm going to sue them. I wonder. Because the dam is burst now. And there's no way... It, 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 now, in defense of the Astros, it's hard to, it's hard to prove a negative. Or it's, it, it's hard to prove anything that happened last year and there's already been an investigation and mlb has already come out and said we didn't find anything did they really look enough well, we had john boy on yesterday and he said that there were memos circle uh circulated around major league baseball during 2017 when you go into minute may park be careful about the banging of the track they knew what was happening they didn't act on it until the athletic wrote the story and got mike fires on the record so i don't know what would cause them to reopen it other than maybe the players being angry about it because I think that this crosses a Rubicon that just insults people. I mean, you're going to put vibrating electronic chips on your body for this?